Yo, what's up guys? Corey Sandman, Sandhagen here. Welcome to another week of Breakdown sponsored by our boys over at Sheaf. Make sure that you guys are checking out the link in the description for them, okay? Today, we got Pejeda versus Yuri Prohashka. Another breakdown where I can't say anyone's name properly. Let's get into the breakdown. All right, guys, this is take two because I pretty much called Pejeda uh, Pantoja the entire last video that we just did. Uh, and my camera guy didn't correct me until about like 10 minutes into the video. But um, all right, let's go over the breakdown again. Jesus Christ, I am so stupid with names. Um, but OK, so we're not going to talk about this head kick. All right, even though the head kick was super awesome, the way that he just switched small into it, um, threw it on like this really close line. So if there was like a wall right here, he didn't throw this one out and like whip it around. He threw it really tight, boom, turned it over. That's why it kind of looks like it hit with the inside of the foot. Um, but Pejeda did a really good job of making a read on Yuri, which was Yuri's pause before he, fought, uh, before he got knocked out, okay? The reason that that's important, guys, is because Yuri moves a lot, okay? He has like this style, it jumbles around his little ponytail thing, boom, and he moves, okay? Pajeda saw that ponytail stand still for a second, and what that means, guys, is when someone pauses like this, typically from just like watching people, um, watching my own film, all of that stuff, it either means I want you to attack, and I want to defend and try to counter, or it means I want you to attack, and I'm gonna go immediately, okay? That's how those pauses work. Uh, I almost called him Pantoja again. You see how stupid I am? Uh, Pejeda did a really good job of when he read that pause, he threw that kick immediately, which is a really smart and good idea because, like I said, this person wants to slow things down, see what you're going to do for a half of a second, reset their brain, and while Yuri was doing that, Boom, get smoked with the head kick, okay? Um, go back and watch that, guys, because that's like a really important thing to note, especially you guys as fighters, if you guys are out there watching the film. Don't do that, okay? Don't be, and then go back to stuff, okay? It's like I've watched myself do that a thousand times in sparring. It goes worse more often than it goes better. That's just a part of it. I don't really fully understand why. I think it's because that person finally gets to see you standing still, and when they do, their brain goes, go, and then they go to attack, and you either get caught on your heels or you get caught with some shit. But if you guys are fighters, etch that out of your game. You don't get to be this for any amount of time, okay? Boom, you're moving. If I'm Yuri, I etch that out. Anytime I feel like pausing, I feel myself do it and I start moving again. So that's a really big, uh, important tip for you guys that want to be fighters. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, comment. Peace. I love you guys. Bye.